Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. Thanks for joining us. It's a nighttime start to our video because we are making some big moves. Cassie's chickens have worn out their welcome in their current paddock and where are they going? Somewhere else. Somewhere else on some fresh, better green grass. So we still have 10 chickens from Alabama and the super hatch mm -hmm. that have not been moved into the coop. So tonight, we're gonna go out, we're gonna clip some wings, got the flashlight, got the wing clippers, also known as scissors, and we're gonna put them out in the coop, that way they'll be ready to go tomorrow. So, Cassie, are you gonna get up and join me in the morning? You know it! All right, so Cassie- It's o'clock, right? That's why I started the video tonight. <laughs> My faith in Cassie getting up on a Saturday morning and being out there bright and early is 50% um, chance. You stab me with those things. 50%. All right, you ready? All right, well, we're not gonna bring you along because it's gonna be dark out there, but we will catch up with you in the morning when we are moving the chicken coop. So let's take a quick look around. All the coops are gone, the fence is gone. Just gotta do a little bit of cleanup now. And I went ahead and switched over to the lawnmower. It's kind of smoking, isn't it, Ransom? Yeah. What's going on with it? It got wet. It got wet? You think that's it? Yeah. And Cassie's got a little bear out here. I yep. didn't taste it. Ransom, you, you <laughs> Ransom can... got him a John Deere shirt and some overalls yesterday because he said he needed to be a farmer. He's a farmer now? We just gotta get him some boots. All right. Well, Cassie, you got big plans for the rest of the day? Ranger, Ch tell, Ransom, tell him what today is. I forgot what it's called. Your gotcha day. Tell him. My what gotcha it? day is when I get adopted. So six years ago today, we adopted Ransom. So we like to celebrate him and Mazzy's gotcha day. And on his gotcha day today, what is there just about 10 minutes down the road? A chicken sale. A chicken auction. So he's determined to get a new chicken today. He's determined or you're determined <laughs> to get him a new chicken? So you guys will have to follow along. I think I have to go work on a roof somewhere else, but you guys video the chicken auction for for the a subscribers, roof. okay? Yeah, I gotta go put some probably be there later. something on a roof. I might be there later, but... Little Bear's over here. He little has bear, a, bear, bear is kicking it old school with his flip phone. He, he has a new phone and he's pretty excited about it. He likes playing with phones. Correct. It looks like a pretty good go-kart track now. Have to make your rounds, buddy. Clean up those sticks over there. You'll probably spin out on the walnuts, though. You would like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> It is finished. Well, at least the fence is finished. And uh, it's all mowed. Number one thing with using this Premier One fencing, we say it a hundred times over and over again, but if the grass grows up in it and it grounds out, then it does not shock anything and is almost pointless. So Cassie, which coop do you want to go first? Who's your favorite? Oh, I don't know. 
You don't have any favorites? Well, I don't know who's in what. Okay, so this one, uh, the door I built originally is uh, you pull this rope and it raises it up. Yeah. So, well, I need to put some new batteries in there. Oh, we're running chicken. All right, ready? Ooh, really, I... release the hounds. If you didn't see us build this, this is a horse trailer, oh. two horse trailer that we converted into a chicken coop. Come on, ladies. Oh, come here. So they are all getting out and figuring out, where am I? I went to bed and there's a bunch of walnuts and dirt on the ground. And I woke up and now there's a bunch of grass everywhere. A uh, little thing up to move it. So we got to unhook that. And now they can come out. So Cassie, I had one person mouth me the other day about the... Uh, only one? Yeah, only one. Usually it's more. Mouth me about, the coop is too dirty. There's some poop in the coop. So do you want to tell them... Got what, poop in the coop. Poop in the coop. Want to tell them why there's poop in the coop? We do the deep litter method. Got to slow that down for it to come out right. So during the winter, we add shavings, and the poop is what gives them warmth. So it, it's dry. Put shavings on top of it. It, it has heat in it. It keeps them warm during the winter time. So when it hits spring, we clean it out, put new shavings in, start the whole thing back over. So that's where we're at right now is we are going to clean out the coops today. I'm going to get all of the old manure out, probably put it in the gorilla cart and haul it over to the compost pile. And then I have three brand new bags of large flake shavings. And that is what's going to go in both of the coops. It'll take about a bag and a half each. Yep. So, I think it was. Uh, yeah, I need to cut them off. You got a knife? Go for it. So, Friday and Saturday is the Oki Homesteading Expo. We'll be there. I, I am speaking on Saturday, but we also have a friend that comes and he sells knives. He'll sharpen your knives if you bring your knives. I think he said the sixth knife is free. I think he charges five dollars to sharpen them. But I bought this one from him last year, and. Uh, Really like it. All right. Also, if you're coming to the Okie Homesteading Expo, I talked to one of the owners of Country Cottage last night and oh, told yeah. them there might be a few extra people coming over. Yep. I said to stock, stock up and get ready because if you guys are hungry and you like good food, that's in Locust Grove. Go to Locust Grove, Oklahoma, Country Cottage Buffet. It's like a country buffet. And uh, if you're wondering where Little Bear is, he is walking among the chickens. He is in chicken heaven over here. Are you in chicken heaven? You checking them out? Now that's a real farmer right there, no. Ransom. Look at them. Look at them overalls. All right, so here's the update. We have waters set up. We have feed set up. I need to go ahead and fill it up with more feed. And then they're going in and out of this coop. But Ransom and I have been working, haven't we? This one has all that manure out. And we're almost finished. We gotta get a little bit more out. Those girls are looking for a place to lay eggs, I think. Yeah. Hold on, girls. It's gonna be about 10 minutes and we'll get you fresh shavings. So we're gonna finish cleaning this coop out. Move on to that coop. We'll probably have to dump the trailer though in between, you think? Yeah. So all that good compost is now out. And so Ransom is spreading it out a little bit. We just dump it in here and uh, let's get it all evened out as much as we can the chickens will actually come in here and even it out more yep. all right so one down one to go so we went to get this coop opened up and ransom what did you see come out of that chicken's bottom an egg, an egg. it popped right out didn't it yeah. warm as can be here you go so i got one chicken over here trying to lay let's go look at the other side ransom so what we're going to try to do is clean out these in nest boxes first and we got a chicken on this side girl oh there's another egg so the way I made these you just pop these out like this and then you can clean them out and it has uh, easy clean out here and we actually got to design this coop it's called Jataga 
which is our Cherokee word for what, Ransom? Do you remember? No. Jataga? Chicken. Oh, yeah. Jataga means chicken in Cherokee. And the TSI makes a J sound. J ta ga. So Jataga is finished. Got all the old out. Got the new in. Went ahead and the windows are all opened up now. Now that it's going to be a little bit warmer and ransom, his favorite part, spreading it out. Right, bud? Yep. All right, looks good in here, doesn't it? Yeah. So you guys see this one has what three roosting bars? One, two, three. It could probably handle one more roosting bar, about right there where you're at, Ransom. But you're about time for you to go to the auction, isn't it? Yep. All right. So I think that's all we got out here for you guys. But it looks a lot better. They're on green grass. They'll be here for probably six weeks, and then it's going to start getting hot enough, Ransom. We're going to have to move them back to somewhere with the shade. So I don't think we're going to move them over there till winter. So we might move them back by our back of our place where we had them last time. There's a nice tree back there and it's out of the way pretty good for the hayfield. But look at them out here enjoying all the new green grass. The bugs, the grasshoppers will be here before you know it. And they're already finding spots to scratch the ground up. And look at them, they're so happy. Happy chickens. That one's really pretty right there. That's one from our super hatch from Alabama. Yeah, that's, that's the color that I'm getting. Oh, Ransom says this one right here is the color he wants to get at the auction today. Alright, Ransom, we made it. You got your uh, GoPro? Yep. Ransom's going to do some recording. We got to bring Daddy's truck. It's just you and I. We're going to buy whatever we want. You got blue talkies on your face. Oh. <laughs> I really like these. I might get them, but I might wait. I was looking. I like how that, uh, Oh, there's an egg. What'd you find? A hen and 11 babies. Look at all those babies in there. Ransom thinks we might get this one and put her in a pen by herself and let her raise those babies. Oh, uh, look at that one. A naked neck? You want a naked neck? A big one naked neck. <laughs> <laughs> look at those silly things. All right, we'll see what happens, okay? So they got cages and some log chains. They got, they got an LG homestead. Did you get a number? Nope. Go get a number, Lori. What are, these are little, uh, I know what these are. Whoop. Okay. Yeah, you can take the dozen or you can take ten. All of the bunny rooster there now. Yeah, everybody wants a bunny rooster. Three daughters, four daughters, four 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 number one. <laughs> There is a game hen here that has got 11 babies, and she is a brownie, brownie Kelso. 
And a rooster on it, the daddy on these babies will be a what? Plain hatch. Okay. You're going to, she sat on 11 eggs and hatched 11 eggs. And it's a very good mama. That's why this cage you ever buys them goes with it. Because all one package right here, guys. Just a little different deal. You're getting the hen, the chicks, and the cage. All one kind of money. You can stick your hand in there and take them out if you want. You take no cage. I just stick my hand in there. Um, so it's all for one money. We're not going to do 12 times the money. It's just all for one money. Don't bid yet. Get 120, 120, Take some both. Four times, four times. Four times. Twenty-three. Oh, it's rabbit time now. bucks. Gonna be buyer number. Out for me. 40, buy number 40. Take some all for that price, right? Guys, from what I hear and no. what I kind of read. 37, 7, 7, 36 and 7. Money's on now, folks. 36 and 7. 36 and 7. Sold them 36 bucks. Going to be about 23. Takes more money than that. Takes $50 a piece. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Oh, Tiger Brown's boy there. He might want some turkey. It's like a hunk of slab stuff. This is a tiger frog. He came from the same farm. Guy's been raising the same way. That is a pretty good dog. Set him in at 40 bucks. 40. How about a 5? How about a 45? 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 Here. 50. Now 5. How about a 55? How about a 55? 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. 55. So we actually met one of our subscribers here and she's helping with the sale. And uh, I think she gave Ransom a job because he's in the golf cart. Ransom, you working? Put him in on that side. Okay. I 
coming who is that get him Shelby they still don't recognize my truck yet what did you get what did you get Hey, wanna come see the baby chickens? Walk, walk slow, walk slow. Ransom, how did you buy these? Did you do the bidding? Yeah. Did he do the bidding? He did. All right. Even even when I thought I we had stopped, he was still bidding. Papa, Papa said he was gonna buy you chicken. Is this Papa's gift? No. Yeah, Papa said. Remember or, we talked about it. All right, let's get these out and show them. So this is Lily and her 11 chicks that she has out. Lily and her 11. That's a dozen chickens, Cassie. <laughs> Lori from LG Homestead was there, as you guys saw in the video. And I kept asking her, I was like, I don't know, but I really feel like I need this thing. And then I texted Gary, and he said, where are you going to put those in? And I was like, ha, huh, that's what we're going to put them in. That works. They need something. Lori thought you were going to be mad for me getting your truck dirty. I told her that. My van gets dirty, your truck can get dirty. Yeah, I'm not real happy about that. Finally got Better something nice, so I was gonna keep it nice. It'll sweep out. Did you want him to die? Are you gonna sweep it out? That's the question. Come on. Sure. Why is it back though? I get the pit! I get the pit! Okay. Uh, Come out here, and I'll get on the other side. Put right two here. hands under it. Right there? Yeah. Is that plenty One, of grass? Two, three, up. Good, sit down. Yeah, right here. Stranger. Right here, right here, right here, right, right here. Okay, right there. Right here. Got a roosting bar and everything. We're going to put some... Uh... All right, we made a modification to Ransom's setup. You want to show them? Mm -hmm. So now we added this little door. It didn't have any kind of door or way to put anything in it. It only lifted up, so... We cut that off, put a little door on, and now we're going to put the chicken in and all her baby chicks. Alright, this mom is not very happy. And when I take her away from her chicks, she's probably going to be even that much more not happy. But, we got to move her over. So let's do it real quick. Coming. Oh, one, one, escape 
one escaped already, Cassie. One of them escaped. We we'll probably need to put something around the edges of this. So we don't have any chick starter, but I had some 20% poultry crumbles. And those chicks are eating, aren't they, Ransom? Huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, they love it. Let's see if I can get in there and show you guys. So, what, so what's your chicken's name? Lily. Lily? Lily and her 11 babies. Wow. That's a lot of babies, Lily. They're all hens. They're all hens? <laughs> How do you know they're all hens? I bet you got eight roosters. <laughs> we'll just wait and see, okay, bud? It's hard to tell at this age. So we went ahead and put a little water in there, small enough for the chicks. And they are getting after the water too. So, food, water. We've got a little shelter. I think Cassie's working on a little uh, bit more of a shelter for them on the inside. And then uh, I think they're good to go. We had to put these up because we were just want to make sure they don't get out until the chicks get a little bigger. All right, Ransom, all your chicks disappeared. Where are they? You think they're under her? You think they're under her? Let's see. I think all but one. There's one over there. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, look at her. She's not happy. That's awesome. Mom, Mom, where did you go? And that's how they stay alive uh, in cooler weather. Yep. So Cassie, what did you make? I made a little box. Made a little box. Out of some scrap lumber. Put in there, put some straw so they can get in it. Uh, if she happens to roost or something, then they'll have this little thing to get in. Watch out, babies. Oh, Mom, I made Watch that. out, babies. I made Rain, Gary, go look at the back. To make... All right, so we'll put this straw in here. They'll uh, put it probably how they like it. So, that's it. The little guys are all in there. And, and uh, if you're within driving distance to Locust Grove, the chicken auction we went to is called Pig's Poultry Sale, and they have it the third Saturday of every month. Uh, didn't over the winter time. This is the first one back this season, but um, a lot of good stuff there, and I need to start hatching some turkey eggs. Pig's Poultry Sale. Yep. All right, they are back underneath Mom. She talked them into it, except that one. That one is just a wonder. It goes wherever it wants. All right, that's it, Ransom. You ready to grow your chickens now? That was a pretty good buy, I think. Maybe overpriced, but... You were just talking to Rory when I was bidding. Someone was bidding above me, and then I just... They didn't... No. no. Yeah. Could... Well, Ransom and I had a fun day today. He said the next... last The last thing he needs to do for his gotcha day is pick out supper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you have a great day, and God bless. Bye.